What's going on, everybody? White Kanye the Great here with a not comic book read today. We're going to be back with the comic books next week. Today, we're talking about something much, much more important. The Justice League Snyder Cut. Which is coming out, by the time you're watching this live, if you're watching this live, it's coming out tomorrow, March 18th on HBO Max. I am so excited. Now, I uh, had a whole script written, right? A whole plan. I, I did a shit ton of research, right? I watched a bunch of other YouTubers to kind of hear their uh, responses, see how they kind of structure their videos. And I thought to myself, holy shit, there's a lot of videos out here uh, that are just dropping, you know, point by point, all the uh, facts, spewing out basically documentaries of this whole entire thing. Ten times better than I ever could. I was never good at homework or researching um, but I, I do know a lot about the Snyder Cut, so I just kind of want to be real with you guys, uh, just tell you what it was like, and tell you guys my emotions during this entire process, and kind of tell you what happened from my perspective, and just be a little bit more raw, so I, I tossed the script out, I actually didn't even write a script, that was a lie, so, um, I really, uh, love Zack Snyder's work, uh, 300 Watchmen, Batman vs. Superman Ultimate Cut. These are some of my favorite movies of all time, if not my favorite movies of all time. Especially Batman vs. Superman, which we're going to do at a watch party very soon. So check that out on our Discord. Uh, anyways, it is so amazing the type of director that he is. As you guys know, I direct all my movies, edit all my stuff. I do everything. And he is such an artist a pure artist but of course you guys know i hate corpos right well the studios in this instant are the corpos they're usually trying to cut Zack snyder's time down taking shit out so usually his director's cut and ultimate cuts are amazing same thing with batman versus superman some people didn't like batman versus superman as they saw it in movie theaters only they didn't see the ultimate cut that would be another video just to explain that Anyways, let's fast forward to Justice League. This movie was being made uh, in a five-part uh, movie set, okay? So Justice League was supposed to be uh, basically the last three parts, where Man of Steel was one, Batman vs. Superman was two, Justice League that we got uh, was going to be three, and then four and five. Uh, we didn't get that, though. Sadly, Snyder's daughter committed suicide in the middle of filming Justice League, which is horrific. Uh, so obviously he had to step away. Obviously. And his wife was the producer on the movie as well. She had to step away. And they brought in uh, Josh uh, Beaton Women, is his? No, Josh Whedon. There we go. Uh, that piece of shit. And he botched the whole fucking thing. Now, the studio wanted to be more like Marvel during this time in 2017. As a DC fan... This was very frustrating. I hate Marvel. Eh, it's okay. But I hate the Marvel fanboys thinking it's so cool. I'm like, your fucking movies are Disney. Suck a dick. Anyways, this shit's rated R. This shit gives way more realism, dark, and grit. I love it. Anyways, uh, the studios, the corpos didn't like that. They wanted to be more successful like the Marvel franchise, but I'm like, the Marvel franchise has been working on that whole formula for a very long time. You can't just force it out. So they're like, oh, let's just make it bright, funny, and uh, whatever. Let's bring in Josh Wheaton. He had success with uh, Avengers Age of Ultron uh, and success with Beating Women. Oh, wait, no, no, no that's, uh, that's, that's not proven. That's not proven. Or is it? Anyways, uh, yeah, he's a piece of shit. He came in, reshot 80% of Zack Snyder's footage, uh, and made it two-hour movie. What we're getting on Thursday is a four-hour movie, and not one single scene that Josh Whedon shot will be in this, making a completely different movie. Uh, what this stands for, guys, this is probably the most important thing I'm going to say up here about the Snyder Cut. Why this movie matters. It is the most anti-corpo movie ever made. Hear me out. The Corpos came in, fucked it all up. The fans demanded to see the Snyder Cut, right? 
And the studio had to bend the knee to us, setting a precedent that we need to be in charge of the corpos. Not the corpos of us, but we are the ones that made this happen. This fan base that was hashtagging support the Snyder Cut, released the Snyder Cut. I salute all of you that took part in that, just like I did. But this is, this is far bigger than just a movie. This is far bigger than a comic book movie. This is a stand against corpos. You see, what the whole point of release the Snyder Cut was so that Zack Snyder could have a movie untouched by the corpos, a.k.a. the studio. And he got it. It's going to be a masterful, beautiful piece. Early reviews are already in saying it's the greatest movie of all time. I could see it being somewhat uh, referred to uh, like Avatar back in the day when it was uh, coming out. But again, Zack Snyder has had quite a bit of time, comparatively speaking, to most uh, directors and editors out there. So uh, I, I would assume the CGI is much more perfect than any other movie that's made in like six months. You've had like years. Regardless, what it was like to be a Snyder fan during this whole ordeal. We were made fun of. Uh, most people said the Snyder Cut didn't exist. It was a unicorn. For some reason, day in, day out, I would check YouTube just, I don't know, hoping there'd be new news. And there was always news saying, Snyder Cut confirmed not to exist. And I just, just a little piece of me died every time. Uh, but every once in a while, something happened that gave us joy. And the, and the happiness that happened. Like uh, Jason Momoa, uh, the guy that plays Aquaman, came out and said, Oh yeah, it exists. When that happened, it gave me chills. It gave me probably the most important thing about this hope. Hope to beat the Corpos. Hope to beat the studios. Hope that we can have artistic integrity. Integrity. Make sure you guys have lots of integrity. That's an inside joke. If you don't watch my podcast or anything, you're not going to get that. But uh, anyways, this is this is very important. This is beyond all of us. This is this is beautiful. Whether the movie is the greatest of all time or sucks, this is a president that needs to continue. You all have the power to make the studios make the movies we want. If you don't like these remakes that they keep on pushing out <clears throat> Disney <clears throat> don't go watch them simple as that I love you all and I hope to see all of you in our watch party in our discord uh, yes we are going to be watching the Snyder Cut in the watch party uh, every chapter we're going to take a little break a Rooney talk about it it's going to be phenomenal I need all of you there because the discord can you know hold 50 all right Please be there. Please support this. And if you guys can, uh, and you know, if you guys are uh, thinking about doing a small donation donation this week or something to the channel, hold off on that. Get the HBO Max account. Uh, you know, if you're thinking about doing, like I said, a small donation or becoming a member this week or something like that, hold off and put that money towards HBO Max to show them that we want more of this that they were right by listening to the creator and the artist that's the beauty of this i will be purchasing my hbo max account the day of the release of the snyder cut now you could always you know cancel too after you know you just need to show hbo max hey <laughs> we want more because who knows what if the fans demand more Zack snyder content in fact i think he should be the father of the dc universe <sighs> until I take over. Folks, that's it for this week. Um, again, not very structured of a Snyder Cut prep video, but really from the heart. The excitement that I have, the emotions are very high right now. Um, I can't watch a single trailer without thinking back to the last couple of years of that emotional roller coaster. When this is, you know, because most people don't even care about these movies, mind you. Why am I so passionate? What did I just say at the beginning of this fucking shit? My favorite movie was Batman vs. Superman. And my favorite director is Zack Snyder. And it has always been so. A lot of you motherfuckers are about to say that. 
And you're all bandwagoners. No offense, I'm welcoming you to the, to the wagon. Come on on. But you're all bandwagoners, and I was here way before everyone else. Fucking shouting, release the Snyder Cut, and everyone's like, that's never going to happen. Well, joke's on you, because it's happening tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the watch party, and in my live streams, and in the goddamn podcast. Chilly Wee. Dude, I really want a different catchphrase than Chilly Way. Uh, or go ahead, fool, lure me in your van and fuck me in your ass. I don't like that. Let's let's come up with something cool. Like it's fine. Or oh, oh, I got one. I got one. Let's make history. Or not. Well, folks, guess what? Your boys is back. It's your boy Bruce Flames, and Kanye is somewhere doing whatever the fuck he does. But he'll be here shortly. Well, the weather's getting better here in California, so I hope all you California folks is loving it. Sunshine is back, clouds are gone, and it's time to get high. Welcome to the show. Again, this guy's late, so I'm just trying to fill in. I hope you guys checking out that new t-shirt I came rocking today. I'm going to try to come some fresh every week. I'm going to pull out this classic Menace to Society. Or I wasn't even going to tell nobody, but I bring out that classic, baby. You know what I mean. So, sooner or later, this guy's going to be here. But other than that, I hope you guys watched the Lakers whoop ass last night beating on the Warriors because, you know, that's what Lake Show does. Fuck the Clippers, but they still L.A. Anyway, so other than that, we are here at the Brothers OG Studio, a.k.a. Sweet Greens, for hosting us. Giving shouts out to all my folks out there. Oh, and look who the fuck decides to What's show up on, for Bruce, work. Man? Oh, man. Where the fuck's my mic? Oh, here it Don't is. Don't know. Listen here, man. We got mess. all kinds of crazy shit going on. Listen, you know, guys, it is tough being me. Hold on. I gotta make Everything has to be perfect, dude. He probably just cut me out the shot, but who knows? Well, if, it, if it's for putting me in the shot, it's worth it. Listen. Oh, shit. Listen. I can't even see you. Totally. I need Truth a goddamn assist. This is right, this well, is getting ridiculous. I uh, had everything packed up, ready, charged, and I forgot something. Ain't that a bitch? Is that why you late? Yeah. <laughs> no wonder. And I'm like driving around town, like you know, distracted as shit, trying to text him that hey, I'm running a little late, and then I would go down a wrong uh, uh, one way street. Did and, you almost hit somebody? No, oh, but okay. I just did a little flip. I flipped a bit. There, luckily, it was noon, and there's not that much traffic right, out, good, right? Good. So, basically, um, downtown LA has a lot of one-way streets. Okay? Yes, it does. And it's a bit confusing. It can fuck with you. Yeah. Mind. So, if you're not paying attention to texting and driving, which you should not be doing. No, you shouldn't, but this motherfucker did it anyway. Well, because, uh, yeah. listen here, man. Fuck it. I'm already in a mask, so I already can't see when I'm driving. So what's the difference if I go the wrong way? Fuck it. I hear you. Exactly. That's why we need more personal drivers. And I, I, Listen, I just need an assistant. I, I keep on you saying do. I make one mistake, the whole production crumbles. Fucks up because you don't know If, if it sounds fucked up, up right up. now, I wouldn't even know. Nope. If I'm cut out of the shot, I wouldn't even know. No, you wouldn't. But Either that's kind of what makes this kind of cool, right? I guess we just run with that shit. Right, yeah. Like, we work, like, I feel like it like kind of puts, like, an extra level of, like, we work harder than the competition. Right, man, because we make that shit work. Because you at work right now while at work. Yes. You're a double. Because, trust me, guys, this is an investment for Bruce, I feel like. Because one day, very soon. Hey. They're going to be paying both of us to show up to the club, to the motherfucking... Uh, we're going to be hosting Coachella, brother. I'm going to be honest. Can you imagine me and you hosting now. Coachella? Oh, Motherfucker, Bruce, yeah. like, you up in this bitch. I'm going to just be sitting in the back smoking like, hey, here comes be the over next artist. My cape, <laughs> uh, oh. Fucking uh, flinging it at bitches and shit. And they're like, oh, I like your cape. See, he's going to be... I'm going to just have on a fresh new tee. And y'all going to be like, damn, damn where did he cool get that tea. one? Where did he get that one at? You know, and also, too, uh, once we make the Bruce t-shirt, you'll be getting the uh, proceeds from that. Okay, you know, we'll okay. just have a big old... Maybe just a cartoon picture of your face that we have Security Steve make. That might be... Hilarious. And then we have you in the episode with me and him and you in the Security Steve episode and have a t-shirt for it. See, that would be cool. Shout out to Security Steve. Where the fuck Shout you out to Security Steve. That dude's a cool motherfucker. Yeah, dude. He, he needs to uh, get us into uh, one of those cartoons. I want to go on stage. I want to do a stand-up uh, you know, show. You do it. I want to be on the side. You, I know. Will you watch at least and I'll come? At least watch. I will watch and show up and support. Yeah, you always say that. Oh, speaking of support... So did the fans support my video last week or yours? I didn't Who have won? a video, so you obviously won. 
But I wonder, hold on. Oh. Technically, wouldn't, since I made that video, they were reacting to my video that I had presented them. You still I, won, but you see the uh, deep level? Gotcha. The thinking of the deep the level? The deep like, level of trying to get a win? No, no, no. I, you're getting the win no matter what. Ah, there we go. That's all that matters. That's, that's all that matters. But do you right. see the deep, like, how, like, someone could so, argue yeah, that shit? Deep, right? You'd be like, sit the fuck down. Yeah. So, what's up, man? Let's see. What you got to do? Well, I want to finish with my reaction. We need to go into your reaction. So, this competition is real, guys. This is going to be happening every single week. And I need you guys to take it very seriously. Make sure you vote. Okay, either Bruce or me. Okay, last week he won, and it's not two to zero. Every no, week one. is one round. Oh, what? so like you could bring two videos, but like they got it. Like okay, like today uh, you have I two videos. Two. I only I have got... one. Oh, okay. So my... but that I doesn't. Could, but that my doesn't video is easy. probably longer than yours. That's, po that's a possibility. I my my video short. is like three minutes long. Okay, yeah, keep mine short. Yeah, so you see what I mean? Is I got you. The I fans got you. will have to, uh, you they know, see. They might have to dissect yours a little bit more. Mine is right in your Exactly. Face. I got so, you. Um, let's go ahead and whip out your videos first. Uh, I thought you were putting up. I thought you had the video. No, I told you to pick your favorite, and uh, then I'm going to find them. All my videos are good, so I don't have a specific Okay, video. so I could just go to, because here's the thing, is uh, he sends me a list, and then I could scroll up and kind of like you read. Hit. Like what it was, like the acrobatic, the jail acrobatics last week. That was easy to find in your list. Oh, I got because this way I don't, I don't want to ruin it. Okay, Dude, well, I'm here, trying to my, react. My first one is I got for you was pretty funny today. So check this one out. Let's see. Let's see what we got. All right. You've you already see seen this, so I need to, I need to right. put it in a way that I can see it. All right, here we go. I got it. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's got the. the they got ads commercials. On them. What the fuck? What? What? Uh -oh. Some shit going down? Wait, what? Damn, oh, shit. Oh, what? I got, I'm gonna hit your ass with a rock. Oh, oh, Miss. And I ran, ran. Drive by. Oh, Drive by. Oh, my God. Okay, we need to, I need to see this just one more time. Turn that back one more time. One more time. Drive by. Okay. Wait, see if you can turn it sideways to get bigger. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. See, even though I'm zooming in heavily. Yeah, just. Hey, he gets active on him. Like, man, I'm tired of this bullshit. Bam, get out of here. Boom, bitch. And then it takes off. Like, man, fuck these fools. I gotta go the other way. Went the wrong way. We'll catch one on the way out. <laughs> That's what they call a clothesline. He caught one on the way out. You know what a clothesline is, yeah, Bruce? I used to clothesline people a lot back in the day. Just that was funny. Boom, bitch. Okay, are all your uh, reaction videos gonna be like just people getting knocked the fuck out? Sometimes. Let's see if he has something else. No, that's the same one. I, mean, I, I like those. I do like those. They're not bad. Okay, Trust okay. me. Oh, yeah. So most of them are people getting knocked I heard he predicted his taste right now. He just likes getting people getting knocked the fuck out. This is why you don't be drunk and talk shit. Let's see this. Right <laughs> Are these guys Russian? Fuck yeah, that bitch. Yeah, this right. is Russia. Oh, oh, oh. He's slapping on the bitch. Yeah, the bastard, 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 bastard. 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 Baby, bastard. Baby. Bastard. Baby. Like he can hear him. He's out cold. He cannot hear you. But he, he's, he's very mad and upset. He's, he's calling upset. him a bastard. He's very upset. All right. Oh, that Bobby. That's See, that bastard two I have Bobby. For today. That was your two? Okay, guys. Go ahead and vote uh, uh, after you see mine, whether you like his or mine. Because here I, I comes... have another one for later. Um, Let's see what he got. See, mine are short and simple and sweet. He's going to make us think. No, dude. I'm, I'm going to make you guys watch greatness. Well, you hurry up, greatness. Here it is, guys. I'm... The final trailer of oh. the Snyder Cut. Now, I'm not going to go into a deep dive with you, okay. but I am going to go into a deep dive instead of my weekly comic book. Uh oh, shit, he switched yeah. it up. Yeah, just for this week, you know, we're going to go over the Snyder Cut. Because it's coming out Thursday, which right. I'm going to be posting our podcast one day early for 
this reaction purpose of here the trailer and so more people go out there get that check hbo max support the movement and if you want to know why to support the movement check out. super villains need love too yeah exactly here we go let's see what we got i want you to i just want you to hold it all right i'll hold, I'll hold. let's see what you got right here. all right yeah, this, this one's your reaction I, i've seen it 40 times 40 times Oh. I've never seen a being as strong. Maybe one. He's back. I spent a lot of time trying to divide us. I made a promise to him on his grave. I need to bring us together. There are enemies coming from far away. They serve an old power. This world is divided. No protectors here. No lanterns. No Kryptonium. It will fall in his name. said the age of heroes would never come again. Fighting the devil in the army. In the black suit. You know, I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us united. It's time to stand. Fight. now Our baby four hours that's of a that. four hour movie dropping this thursday wow. rated r because dude i've been Man, talking about this for two three years four hours homie this remember the Fuck just that. remember the Justice League movie the two is hour it a, is it a two part? No, no, you could watch it as much, dude. It's streaming. You could oh, pause yeah, it. I'm gonna pause that. Yeah, shit. you could Four take hours? your break. Fuck that. Yeah, um, like early reviews are in. Why? Well, okay, where are the early reviews? Would you you really want to know? Not really. I'm not gonna no. spoil anything. I'm just no, just tell me what the early reviews are. Greatest movie ever no, made. I don't know about that shit. This is this is the um, you know how Avatar was back uh, in the day for people. Be like that. That's the type of movement, and you know, go check out the the video that I'm making of the importance of the Snyder Cut and the difference. Check this Did you ever see the Justice League no, movie that came out two years ago that was really, botched? No, didn't. Okay, that was two hours long, and no, that's too the, much. yeah, so uh, Zack Snyder had to leave the project. His daughter committed suicide in the middle of the project. Unfortunately, Damn. they brought in Josh Whedon from Marvel to finish it. He reshot eighty percent of the the shots that Zack Snyder used, oh. and then. Uh, cut it down to two hours. So, anyways, I won't watch nothing for four hours in one sitting, but I will check it out piece by piece. Did it look good? It did. It looked very good. I might check that out. But your boys got to go back to work. Yeah, you get that. At work. I'm gonna finish up this podcast. Holla at your boy, Chelly Wee. Get at me. Cool, brother. Cool beans. Cool beans. All right. Am I uh, centered? Real quick, just make sure I'm centered. Make sure I look good, man. I gotta. I gotta know where I'm. Be sitting. You are sitting. Good. All right, guys. Uh, big shout out to Brucington for all the help that he provides for us. It's awesome. Now, uh, I need to get started on not the comic book read and jump into the importance of the Snyder Cut. I really hope you guys join us on this watch party. We're doing tons of watch parties for this. You guys know probably on Friday, I assume, we'll watch it on my watch party. Wow. I'm really excited. That's all I got to say. Uh, hopefully you guys vote for my video as Zack Snyder's final trailer is amazing. But we'll see. 
I'll see you guys in the next Brothers OG TV podcast. Jelly Wee! I feel like there's something else I need to tell people. Hmm. Hmm. No, there's not.